Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds in the flyweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Remember what we talked about. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab is right up against his jab. That's absolutely right. And you know what? That's a great point because there lies maybe the greatest advantage for the southpaw because now the orthodox fighter doesn't feel comfortable using his jab. It doesn't land, it doesn't have the clearance that it usually has. And therefore he doesn't use it and he hurts himself. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. He is stunned there, and now he ties up. He ties up, and he was allowed to tie up, and that's what he's going to be sorry for, the other guy, that he allowed himself to get grabbed. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. <clears throat> covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Boom Boom swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Missed the target with that hook. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You won that round, right? You won that. Okay, okay, deep breath now, deep breath. Relax, relax. Are you all right? I need to just keep... Gonzalez's bounce is back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. He missed with that headshot. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Gonzalez. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Missed the body shot. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. It was in his scope, and he pulled the trigger with that straight shot, scoring the knockdown. And he had a beautiful sight there. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that may have been just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear-headed. His legs are okay. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. 
That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. You could tell that he was nearly out of gas, so now he's taking a little bit of a break. He's tying up. Hey, look, airplanes have to land. They don't keep flying. They land so they can get refueled. He's getting refueled here a little bit, but his opponent, he gave him a landing strip. He should not have. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. fight is over. Gonzalez's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. I never saw that coming, an early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it, maybe not as surprising as everybody else is because he came out very dry, no sweat on him at all, and he got caught cold. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.